Not bad though for the first try. I don't think that changed anything. So I know I've been saying I was gonna get one of these tab and goose shows, but uh, I don't know. The goose sets being on the internet the next morning, it seems like every time, and then um, I got a tray. My mistake was I got a tray one of them tray shows in Chicago over Halloween weekend. <clears throat> and I just I really didn't enjoy it that much. I felt like that was $25 I wish I had not spent. And then when it comes to this, really, it seems like all I'm caring about is the collaboration stuff. And uh, luckily, you know, there's YouTubers uploading that stuff. It's not the greatest quality in the world. Probably, obviously, not as great as if you bought the webcast. But I think it's good enough. It gets the point. And I've uh, much more preferred when Trey gets up there with Goose. Or even Trey's horns at one point were out there with Goose. Uh, but when you get several members of Goose up on stage with Tab, I mean, Tab is already a huge band. You know, like I've said before, I'm kind of a simpleton when it comes to hearing music. Four guys in the band, that's about as much as I want. You get a fifth member, maybe. But anything above that, man, there's just too much going on. And then you got some of the guys turned down so low, it's like it doesn't even matter that they're on stage. So I guess that would be my complaint with the Tab stuff. When they're collaborating with the guys in Goose, there's just too much going on for me. Uh, the cream, he was okay, but then a lot of it was just so chaotic. It wasn't. My favorite part, I think, so far has been uh, Trey on Arcadia, even jumping in on the vocals a little bit. I suppose if you're a massive Goose and Fish fan, that was probably a really cool moment. And then they chose to, and then just some of the songs they're choosing to play, No Men in No Man's Land, Steam, you know, I apologize on behalf of Fish fans, uh, to all Goose fans, you have to sit through Steam, you know, people are paying good money to go to these shows, and they get hit with a Steam, like a shortened back on the train, and No Men in No Man's Land, I mean, the Carini was nice, but again, total chaos, <laughs> you just like hear guitars and zero. And Ciro with that tra that Houston Astros trash can machine thing he's got going on. I don't know how I feel about that. And I love Ciro, but that thing is a little bit ridiculous. Seems like that's all he plays with Goose. <laughs> yeah, I don't even know. been out there. I saw the horns out there and Trey out there. Have we gotten any Ciro and Goose yet? And there's just not a stage in America big enough to hold both bands, is there? <laughs> Uh, the Arcadia was really good though. You know, it's one of them that's like a slow build and their peaks. There's several peaks. There's like shredding going on. Trey really on it. I'm going to say Rick, man. Every night Rick looks like he needs to wash his hair. And I know what that look is. You know, I don't wash my hair every day, so I know that look. But I'm not out here touring with Trey Anastasio and Zero and <laughs> Jen and the rest of them. The Milkman. I feel like that keyboard slash guitar player in Goose. He really likes the Milkman, doesn't he? There's a lot of respect for him. I like that. All these guys in Goose do. You see their admiration for Trey. So all that's cool. But the individual sets. I, I did listen to the ninth. The Goose set from the ninth on Nugs. Doing the Billy Free For All. So. And that's the other thing, man. I can't listen to too many bands at once either. Like I've been getting really into the Kitchen Dwellers. I'm listening to some of the Billy shows. Listen to some of the Goose set. Listen to some of the Tab set. Which ultimately I do think is the way to go. I think like Fish and Dead fans, when that's all they listen to is Fish or the Dead. I mean, that's ridiculous. But I need to go in phases where all I listen to is Fish or all I listen to is Billy. It's hard to bounce around from band to band. And you start comparing, like, this band's better. I don't know. It's just... <sighs> so, when I get done here, I'll take a look at the chat. What have you guys been thinking? Has everybody been liking it? Are they un underwhelmed? Are Fish fans having more of an appreciation for Goose? Are Goose fans, like, underwhelmed by Trey's band? I don't know. Like I said the other night, man, it's just like... Not that there's a bunch of kids in Goose, but definitely much, much, much younger than Trey's band. It's just like a whole different deal, man. I don't like to, you know, I like to rock out. <clears throat> and you get more of that, and I, I don't know. You know what I'm saying at this point. Have I, have I even been washing these dishes? I feel like I've been doing a pretty good job of washing them. I was smart not leaving the water running this whole time. Rinse them all at the end. 
and then we'll work on the stack. That little meatloaf. Remember last week when I was saying like I ate some cereal late at night and I got away with it, but I was just like, you can't be doing that, man. That's a young man's game, eating cereal at night right before bed. Well, a little bit later than normal, uh, later past dinner time, Mary made some mashed potatoes and meatloaf last night. And I was like, all right, cool. It's fine. Ate that, and then I was like, yeah, you know, I just, I just want something to snack on. I want some sweets. I sat there, and I was eating cookies and drinking milk, eating gummy bears. And this was after mashed potatoes and meatloaf. I, uh, I overdid it. Woke up just puking my guts out at like 4 o'clock in the morning. I can't do it anymore, man. I'm eating junk food and then going to bed. It shouldn't even be for young people, but you can get away with it when you're young. You get to be an old washed up geezer like me. You can't be eating good cookies at like midnight and then going to bed. Jesus. 2% milk. That control. So every time I look up to see what someone has, uh, if anybody has any thoughts on Goose and Trey. Did that run you? Oh, I ran some people off. What, me waking up and puking at 4 a.m., drinking 2% milk, that ran you off? Aww. Oh. <laughs> no? Alright. Come on, man. It's not like you guys are at work. I know my fan base. You guys are all unemployed. Yeah, there, yeah, see, Michelle knows. You can't be doing that shit. But I'm not the, I'm not the brightest crayon in the box either. As Weird Al or Frank Zappa or Dweezil Zappa once said, Oh, yeah, you guys watch the Weird Al movie? It's really good. I don't know why I haven't tried. Weird Al's always been really good. I just didn't, you know, didn't know if a movie was going to be his thing or not. It's really funny. It's like a parody of a biopic. Of course it would be, too, you know, duh. I don't know how it ended up on the Roku channel, though. Netflix wasn't interested? Did they hold out for a few extra bucks and get it from Roku? What the hell was going on there? Yeah, it was very weird, Alice, right? Yeah. Thought it was good, though. As soon as I heard Madonna, I was watching uh, Professor Joe LaRocca's Daily Review, and he was like, Madonna and Pablo Escobar are a big part of the plot. I was like, all right, I'm in. I didn't know what that meant, but I knew I was in. I'm like zero. I'm jamming with goose. I mean, no disrespect to zero, but that trash can thing's gotta go, dude. I don't know. I'm not impressed. And it's like the only thing you can hear. You can hear like Bad and Trevor. So what the fuck kind of mix is this, dude? A webcaster after. He can get a lot of shots of Trevor in there too, I did notice. The one goose said I saw some of the uh, the freebies on nugs. And what's the deal with the Trey freebies? You gotta go to like Trey Anastasio's Facebook or uh, YouTube to get that. Not on nugs. Jesus, man. Tight ship they're running over there at Live Fish. They're like, nope, we got that. You don't even get the freebies, dude. That shit's for, like, Dopapod and Billy Strings and <laughs> Goose. So the Disco Biscuits played a show. Maybe, maybe in Boston last night, I think. Amherst. Somewhere. Pretty much Massachusetts is all Boston to me. It's not like a real big state, you know? And then Boston's like a pretty big city. So pretty much the whole state's just Boston. I'm sure they got some rural areas. Plural areas. I figured out how to say the word rural. Just say plural in my head first. And then say rural. Rural. God, I still struggle with it, man. Rural. I'm sure Massachusetts has some super rural areas. I got some super ghetto areas too. Bunch of white people on heroin. It's my favorite part of every state where the poor white people on heroin live. <laughs> I used to live there. They got the fuck out of there, man. Jesus. Then I moved up to maggot country. I was like, oh my god, where are all the overdoses? 
now, I don't know where I'm at now, man. Pretty, uh, pretty independent area, I feel like, around here. Sure, we got some overdoses. Sure, we got some Trump stickers. Not that impressive this time. That's good. The old measuring cup. Seriously, how many of these have this pe these people saw? I don't know if they're all Pyrex or not, but I've never been into a home that didn't have one of them. These people, man. And they never break somehow. Knock on aluminum. Just like that. Oh fuck. The dishes are done, man. Although I forgot the meatloaf pot. Dangy. It's pretty nifty, dude. It's made just for meatloaf, you see? You got this. And then, then this little dealio like lifts out of there, you know? You got oily. Shit, I don't know what to do with that. I'll just let it soak a little longer. We'll let that soak a little longer. Goose. All right, so I feel like uh, that's it. I don't really have it. If you haven't noticed, I don't really have a ton of thoughts on this whole goose tab thing. I'll try to check it out. Let me look here and see if I can scroll back through. Hey, there's Professor Joe. Yep, he's from Boston. They do have it all. We were talking, I don't know if you were here when we were talking about Weird Al or not, but it seemed like some other people really like that money. Rather see lettuce than trading goose. Very weird, Alish. Yeah, yeah. Oh shit! Forgot about that, Dave. Yeah, me too, man. Although I'm a tad late on the kitchen dwellers. Like they've been out there doing their thing for a while now. I'm just kind of getting in. Really did. No bullshit, man. Nothing settled my stomach more than a couple hits of that. So if you get crazy and you're eating like cereal and cookies late at night after you've had some meatloaf and then you wake up, you're like, oh my God, what have I done? <coughs> Marijuana really does settle your stomach. It's crazy. It's like it's a medical product or something. <coughs> Boom, we're out of here.